How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and today we are going to play all five progression skins level three that have ever been in a battle pass. And since there's so many progression skins, we're going to make the ultimate progression strikeout team. Can you guys even remember what all five battle pass progression skins were? I actually had to think about it. I had to look it up because I literally forgot a couple of them. And uh, yeah, so season one was Obake Petra. So we're going to go ahead and do it in order. Let's go ahead and start it out with Obake Petra level three. I'll go ahead and show you all three levels, but we're only going to use level three. There's level one. Level 2 and level 3. This was from the very first battle pass. You hardly ever see this skin anymore because it's been so long since the first battle pass and you can't get it anymore. It's kind of sad. For season 2, do you guys remember what it was? This one I actually completely forgot about. <laughs> season 2 is Future Wave Val. Where is Val? Oh yeah. So we got Future Wave Val. Actually, I want to start from level one. That was level three. Level one, level two, level three. So this was from the second battle pass. Look how she got like a smirk there on level one. Interesting. All right, but yeah, so level two, very cool weapons. I guess I didn't show uh, Petra's weapons very good, did I? So we have the animated gauntlets there, the haunting terrors. You can actually pick level 3 skin and then the level 1 or 2 weapons, but yeah. And then the Demon's Malice Orb is also animated right there. And then we're going to go Future Wave Val. She's got the really cool gauntlets and sword there. The playback and bitrate blade. And then the third battle pass. Does anybody remember what the progression skin was from the third battle pass? I'll give you a hint. The battle pass theme was Jotun Winter. So the third progression skin is Mako, Yormungandr Mako. So we have Yormungandr Mako level one, level two, and level three. Pretty cool. And check out the weapons. So level one, level two, and level three. The level three weapons are just insane. So cool looking. So the question is, which color are we gonna use? I guess uh, somebody said synthwave colors look cool in the last video. So I'll go ahead and use Synthwave uh, colors here. There's two more progression skins, and we will get to them, but we can only do three on a team. So we're doing the first three, and then we'll go from there. While we're playing these three, try to think of what season four and season five progression skins are. You should know season five. I've used the season five one in the last two videos that I did. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the season four one I think you'll remember as well. But I won't say it yet. All right, here we go. We're going against the mobile to diamond grind. I respect that. Interesting uh, name. That's more like a sentence. You got to have a name, bro. If he's really on mobile, I'm impressed because... Like, literally, it's so hard for me to play on mobile because of the touch screen. All right, we got that weapon knocked out of his hand. And there's the neutral sig. The only thing that isn't great about the progression skins is they don't have like different looking signatures or anything like that but they do have the animated weapons which obviously look really awesome so a scythe player who doesn't want to go off stage oh that would have hit too Dude, last time you used blasters, I kicked your butt. You, th you should have kept the scythe. Better chance to win.
I have a feeling they really are on mobile because of the way that they're hardly attacking. Ooh, that was a nice one. All right, we're on to our second progression skin. I wonder if they realize as they're like defeating the progression skins, they progress to the next battle pass every time. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that didn't touch. Close one, Nyx. She's keeping her distance pretty good, the spacing. But, oh, what? The disconnect? Wait, they'll reconnect. They must have disconnected on accident, right? If we don't get to play the third skin, which is uh, Jormungandr Mako, it don't matter. We'll play Jormungandr Mako the very next uh, match, okay? We're definitely going to play all five of these progression skins. Oh my gosh, this bot. There we go. Bye-bye. I wonder why they disconnected. That's actually been happening to me a lot lately. Uh, people have been disconnecting a ton. Oh yeah, so I didn't really talk about where I was in the battle pass. Um, as you can see, I am pretty much done with most of the week one missions. The only ones I have left are win matches with home field advantage and the win rematches, which this one's going to take me a long time because I don't play ranked 1v1 that much. I prefer strikeout and experimental, but we'll, we'll get it eventually. Other than that, yeah. So I did unlock the, the Qatars. Let me show you. I unlocked these Qatars, the Zenith Daggers, and I also unlocked the Gemini's Wrath Blasters and the Loading Frame, and that's about it. So next level, I'll get two of these colors. I'm trying to get the Starlight colors for Artemis and Orion, but yeah. All right, so let's start it out with Yomagander Maker Level 3. And did you guess what the Season 4 skin was? It is Octavius Mordex. We got Octavius Mordex Level 1, which this is the only one. Actually, no, no. This and the Artemis. Artemis is season five. Of course, you guys should know that. But this is the only progression skin where I actually like the level one version a lot. Like I use the level one version more than I even use the level three. Level two, I don't ever really use, but there it is. And then level three. This one, nothing wrong with this. It looks amazing. I think it's just the red teeth kind of look weird to me. Like they should just be white. But other than that, I mean, it's an awesome looking skin. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And these are the weapons for uh, Octavius Mordex level 3. Pretty cool. Another animated gauntlet set. And then season 5, of course, we have Event Horizon Artemis. You guys already seen this one. I showed you all the colors in the last video. Let's do uh, Charged OG though. It looks... Actually, it looks really good on level 1 and not so much on level like 3. Like The more the more green it, 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 there is, the, the worse it looks in my opinion. But... And we're going to go use it anyways because I, I just like charged OG colors in general. They're like my favorite colors. Pretty much black and green. So, And this Yormagander make a level 3 looking really good on the uh, level 3 colors. Alright, I've been watching a lot of uh, Skills WG playing Mako. Uh, he has an awesome YouTube channel. Lots of Brahala content there. So definitely check it out. But um, yeah, he's really good with Greatsword. And better than me. So I've been uh, watching. Hopefully I can take what I've seen and put it to use. Okay, nice neutral sig. No, don't do it again. He's actually only using uh, Lance heavy attacks. I wonder if he has a mission for that or something. Woohoo, that was close, Roland. Try again. Try, come on. I have a beautiful neutral sick. Just waiting for you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he got back. No, oh, my screen just flashed. That was terrible. Boom! Got him with that dunk, finally. I've actually been wanting to use the great sword, though, not the Katars. Oh my gosh, that was a perfect hit. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. A great sword recovery is so bad. All right. Well, hey, look, it's Octavius Mordex with the white teeth. Apparently, if you pick Charge Doji colors, he does have white teeth. Interesting. I never realized that. I should have known he was going to dodge behind me. Again, he dodged behind. Oh, there's a reed. Yep. Yeah, keep dodging behind me, and it's not going to go well for you. Mordex is just too easy. Let's look at the uh, gauntlets. We already looked at the scythe here. Gonna side sick? Oh no. Alright. Yep, there it is. I knew he'd side sick. Every vowel is the same. Close one. Close one. You could keep trying that. Oh. Oh. Boom. Trying to get that uh, challenge the legit way. <laughs> Excuse me. GG do GG. Well played. Um, so we didn't get to play Event Horizon Artemis. So let's go ahead and start it out with Event Horizon Artemis. Level 3, of course. Check out the weapons, by the way. So amazing. I know I already showed you them, but maybe you didn't see my last video. Alright, then we're going to go back to Obake Petra. I'm just going to keep going it in order like that and then uh, future wave Val again ooh let's do black this time though right black looks amazing I don't think I've actually shown you guys what the event horizon Artemis looks like in black colors yet so this this is it uh, she looks super good super dark though so depending on the map if it has like a dark background might be hard to see but that's their problem right not mine look how good the lance looks though in the black and red Oop, I thought he'd pick up the weapon, my bad. I, oh my gosh, I'm playing terribly. I've actually been getting pretty good at using the lance. Or at least so I thought. That's death. That's death right there. Yep. I've actually been trying to hit that for a long time. It's actually, for some reason, hard for me. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Woo! Goodbye. That was a clean zero to death with sight. But I want to practice the lance. Watch that. That weapon. Oh, never mind. I guess we're going sight again. Oops. that oh my gosh the reeds don't know why I did that but oh well didn't get punished for it oh no I forgot about Zariel's slam dunk nice all right we got Obake Petra Ooh, gauntlets versus gauntlets. He actually almost got me there with that neutral air. Oh, that should have hit. Bro, GG, dude, GG. Alright, I got enough time for one more game. And we did play all five progression skins. So, let's see. Let's do my three favorite. So, we're going to go... Hmm... Event Horizon Artemis is one of my favorites. Octavius Mordex is one of my favorites. And I would say Jormungandr Mako, why not? They're actually all my favorites. It's hard to pick just like, yeah, they're all my favorites. Um, let's do, we're going into the springtime, right? So I guess love struck colors. I think that's the next uh, Brahala like holiday is gonna be love struck. And apparently, the new skins for Lovestruck already leaked. I won't show them, but if you go looking for them, you can find them. I've seen them on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, they look, they look all right. 
Not the best, not the worst. All right, here we go, going against Kaimta. I'm letting you get a weapon. You know what, I should do side light. Oh, thank you. Side light neutral. And then side light neutral again. Oh my goodness. Bodvar, stop messing my lance up. Oh yeah, like that. Side light neutral air, and then wait for the dodge, and then gravity cancel side light neutral air again. And apparently that was enough to get him to rage quit. See what I mean about the disconnects? People just been disconnecting so much. As soon as they start losing, they leave. So sad to see. Oh, get out of here, Jiro. Why, gosh, bots are so hard to read sometimes. You know what, this is not my last game. This is not my last game, doesn't even count. I don't like, I don't like fighting bots like this. They need to have a punishment for people that quit matches early, like, you can't queue for another five minutes, just like Rocket League. And then like, if you keep doing it, the time punishment gets longer and longer and longer because it wastes other people's time. If you're gonna waste other people's time, then there should be a punishment. That's just my opinion. All right, that's not my last game. Let's just rematch. Straight up rematch. This time, heat wave colors, why not? <laughs> That's another thing I actually do want, is a rematch button in Experimental. I know that you can invite the person to the lobby, but it's not the same. I just want a one button rematch, just like it is in, in Ranked 1v1. I don't want to invite the person to my lobby, necessarily. You know what I mean? Alright, enough complaining. For the most part, I love Brahalla, so... <laughs> I have very little to complain about, but those are just a couple of little things. All right, this time we're going against an Ember, our, sway, our Cuevas or something. Here we go. Uh-oh, is he? Okay, he's back. Ooh, he, he tried to kick me? You want the weapon or no? Nah? All right. Nice uh, little neutral air. Oh, you should have seen me charging that side thing. Come on. Oh my goodness. Lately I've actually been liking Lance like as a weapon more than I ever really have in the past. It's just fun to use once you start getting some strings. Ooh, that was nice. Bro, that dunk was so late. Oh my, I thought I dodged. I thought I dodged that side sig and it just, nothing happened. Well, I guess I got side sig in the face, that happened. Oh my goodness, nice try, Taros. You would do that, typical Taros. I let you get the weapon, but then uh, that's not good enough. Okay, da da da. Don't know how my my ground pound didn't hit, but Oh, no more axe for you. Thank you for holding that. I appreciate it. Ooh, what a dodge. Don't ground pound. Oh, that's death. 
GG dude, GG. Alright, that's a that's a better last match, right? Well, it was for me at least because he didn't disconnect. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing all five progression skins. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.